guys first of all thank you for all the support i'm having uh, recently you are amazing so thank you so here we are today talking about cheap pedals are they good for you or not what should you consider before buying them well i made quite a lot of a lot i made a fair number of reviews about cheap pedals especially joyous and they do sound great and i get a lot of comments saying oh this pedal sounds great i'm gonna buy it but uh, i always tell them uh, you should consider also this, this and this. So that's what this video is going to be. We will see some things we should consider before buying these pedals. And also in the end I will share with you some situations in which I think a cheap pedal would be the best choice for you. I would like you to share your opinions as well in the comments below. And I'll be glad to respond to them. Well, I have reviewed mainly Joyo pedals, but I think many of these points can be uh, true for um, cheap pedals in general. So let's start. Number one is usability. Uh, you guys, you cannot believe how hard it is to put a battery here. I mean, it's so tight, I was afraid of breaking it and uh, this is just an example you can incur a, in a number of uh, uh, usability issues the jack inputs they are really difficult to operate just getting the jack inside of it uh, the first time i used this pedal actually i had to like shove it into all my strength because it was not going into i had to push so hard i was afraid of breaking it in the beginning i have to be uh, honest, I thought a couple of these units were faulty because I could not get the, them to work. Uh, in the end, I figured out I had just to push very hard. But that's a that might be an issue if you don't want to lose time, if you want don't want to be bothered with this kind of things. This is one thing to consider. Second is uh, build quality. Well, with lower prices, you have to pay a price, if that makes any sense. Well, just to take a look at this, I don't know if you can see it, there is the board here. I mean, you can literally touch the board and the battery touches the board. It's poorly built, uh, you can tell right away. I'm not talking about the chassis, which is quite strong. And another thing I've noticed uh, is that current runs through it in a pretty unwieldy way sometimes you can get an electricity discharge from these things and i guess it's uh, it can be attributed to poor building procedures yeah build quality is an issue this brings us to point number three which is uh, reliability I mean, we actually don't know. I mean, you don't know when these things are going to break. I've heard countless stories about them coming out faulty right off the box or breaking for no reason, being very fragile. I mean, you cannot toss them around like it was nothing. I mean, you have to be quite careful. Act. To be fair, uh, they got a fair amount of beating from me because I'm not the... I don't pay very much attention to these things. If you are like a pro, if you need something that will work every single time, I do not recommend buying a Joyo or a cheap pedal in any way, because uh, they gotta save somehow. And poor build quality will have an effect on reliability and durability. For now, uh, they're working pretty well, uh, but I don't, you never know when they're gonna break. So let's talk about the fourth point, which is resale value. If you buy an expensive pedal, uh, a well-known pedal, let's say something like a Tube Screamer or a Fulton OCD, chances are, it will be very easy to get rid of and they will not lose a lot of value. I mean, if you go with a used tube screamer, pretty much you can buy it used and resell it for the same price uh, because they last long, they are reliable and so they, they don't 
lose any value and they will never go out of fashion uh, instead with these pedals we know they have reliability issues we know they can be faulty so i guess uh, i would not buy a used uh, pedal for 20 bucks when i could get a new one for 30 bucks so let's take a look now at four situations in which I think cheap pedals are very, very good. One, if you play at home and you're not a pro, you do not have booked gigs, I mean cheap pedals that sound great, uh, is, I think it's a valid choice. And you should go for it if you like the pedal and you want to buy them go for it number two they make for great backup pedals they are cheap and if one of your main pedals break you just substitute them with cheap pedals and you're ready to go they sound great and nobody will notice so in that case another great example of how cheap pedals can be used number three would be making a cheap B pedal board uh, that you alternate to your main one and use for um, maybe for rehearsals or for gigs that may be a bit risky to bring your main pedals because of the venue. That is one thing that I have seen people do. Number four, if you want to experiment with different sounds but you don't want to waste all the money, you still want to pay your bills. Um, I mean go with cheap pedals because they sound actually good uh, if you were looking for new sounds new things like strange effects stuff like that but you're just researching the sound you don't actually need the sound yet you could try out some cheap pedals and that was it just leave comments subscribe I'm all for it man I'm all for it, I have nothing against it. Jokes apart, I wanna hear your thoughts on this. I also have a Facebook page where I post stuff, um, music, and also if you wanna stay in touch with me, that's the best way you can do it. If you wanna ask me something, uh, if you just wanna chat, you wanna talk guitars, whatever, uh, I'm there for you. And um, see you, till next time. I I got to choose a like a phrase to say at the end. <laughs> <laughs>